Audio system with navigation, if so equipped. The audio system with navigation includes an FM AM radio, a CD player, and Sirius XM satellite radio, if so equipped. This is the control panel. Audio functions will appear on the display monitor. The power volume control consists of a center button and an outside ring that works like a dial. Press the center button to turn your system on or off. Turn the outside ring to adjust the volume. Your radio will play FM and AM stations and, if so equipped, will tune in Sirius XM satellite radio. Press the FM AM button to change between AM, FM1 and FM2. Pressing the XM button will allow you to choose Sirius XM1, XM2 or XM3. To tune and stop at the next or previous broadcast station while the AM or FM band is selected, press either end of the Seek button. If playing a CD, press the right Seek arrow to advance to the next track. Press the left arrow and the current track will restart. Press either arrow several times to skip through multiple tracks. To fast forward or rewind the CD, press and hold either end of the Seek button. The left arrow will rewind and the right arrow will fast forward. When the button is released, it will resume normal play. The Tune Folder Audio Control Dial also consists of a center button and an outside ring. To manually tune the radio and move up or down through the stations, turn the outside ring. Press the Audio button in the center of the Tune Folder Audio Dial to adjust bass, treble, balance, and fade. Press the Audio button repeatedly until the effect you want to adjust appears in the display. Then turn the outside ring of this same control left or right to adjust to the desired level. Once adjustments have been made, press the audio button again to return to radio or CD mode. You can also adjust these audio features as well as speed sensitive volume or SSV by pressing the setting button on the control panel and selecting audio. You can use speed sensitive volume to make the audio louder at faster vehicle speeds and quieter at slower speeds. You can set up to 18 AM and FM stations and, if so equipped, 18 Sirius XM satellite radio stations in memory. First, choose a radio band by pressing the FM, AM or XM buttons. After selecting a radio band, tune to the desired station. Now, press and hold the desired station button, 1 through 6, until the preset number on the display is updated and the sound is briefly muted, indicating the station is set in memory. To play a stored station, select the radio band where it was stored, then press the corresponding button, 1 through 6. To load a CD or DVD, the ignition must be at ACC or ON. Press the Open Tilt button and the display screen will move down to expose the CD-DVD insert slot. Carefully insert the disc into the slot with the label side up. The disc will automatically be pulled into the slot and start to play. To return the display screen to the upright position, press the Open Tilt button again. Once the CD is loaded, select the menu key and this screen will appear. From this menu, you can adjust audio play patterns using the touchscreen keys. If the radio has been playing, it turns off and the disc begins. When playing a DVD, touch the screen to display additional DVD options. As a safety precaution, you can only play a DVD on the audio system display screen after parking the vehicle and applying the parking brake. While playing the radio, if you want to change to CD or DVD mode when a disc is already loaded, press the Disc Auxiliary button until the corresponding mode appears on the display. To eject a disc, first press the Open Tilt button to expose the CD-DVD insert slot. You will see the Eject button next to the slot. Press it to eject the currently loaded disc. Your vehicle is equipped with auxiliary input jacks located inside the center console. The jacks accept NTSC-compatible devices such as video games, camcorders, portable video players, and some MP3 players. These jacks are color-coded for easy identification. The yellow input jack is for video input, red is for the right audio input, and white is for left audio input. 
please refer to your vehicle's owner's manual and the manufacturer's owner's manual supplied with your device for detailed information when connecting the device to an auxiliary jack. After plugging a device in, press the disc auxiliary button to display the auxiliary mode. Your vehicle is equipped with a USB jack. Plug a compatible storage device into the jack to play audio and video files stored on the device. Once the device is plugged into the jack, press the disc auxiliary button repeatedly to switch to the USB input mode. Compatible video files from a compatible USB storage device can be played through the vehicle's audio system and viewed on the vehicle display while parked with the parking brake engaged. To play an iPod, connect the cable supplied with your iPod to the USB jack, then connect the other end of the cable to your iPod. If compatible, the battery of your iPod will charge while connected to the vehicle. When plugged into the jack, only the audio system controls can be used to navigate and operate all iPod functions. The interface for iPod operation shown on the display is similar to the iPod interface. Videos from an iPod device cannot be played back through the vehicle's audio system while connected through the USB port. Press the disc auxiliary button to choose from the following modes. CD, DVD, Auxiliary, USB iPod, and Bluetooth streaming audio modes. Please refer to your owner's manual for further information and instructions regarding all audio systems.